weather is perfect, I am going to go out there and burn them limbs. There's barely any wind, the ground's fairly moist, and I have rooster proofed. I know the sun's in the way, guys. Let me see. I haven't put it all up yet, but I got this kind of fence. Hopefully, she doesn't jump over it. Huh, you little booger. All right, let's get to burning. All right, we got a very slight breeze, which is kind of good when you're burning. Uh, the wind is coming directly from the west. I mean, it, it's hardly anything. So I'm going to light it on the east end so it doesn't just flare up and burn up faster I can deal with it. Shouldn't be no issues. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's get rid of some of this. that other pile.
and just like that all them pine limbs was gone get them all burn up i even drug that pile over there got them dudes burn up and i got a guy coming and we're gonna get these logs picked up i'm gonna finish cutting these big pieces up and then they can come get them then i'll get my yard back but this is work i'm happy to be doing because them trees are gone all right been at this a few hours this is the perfect day for burning uh, wind's just right enough to keep it going and you know this stuff's a little green yet but that's what that torch is good for you just lay it in there it'll go and once you get it started you just keep feeding it all right I've been hard at it guys all them limbs I even got that cedar down there cut all that Chinese privet that was around that tree out yeah and look here this just came a new office chair yeah yeah y'all remember when I did the coffees how squeaky in my old chair was and man I'd just be sitting in that and all of a sudden it just goes down and so this is going to be a lot more comfortable but uh I don't think it's going to fit where I currently got my desk and I did get the rooster fence up and it's working she ain't got in there that don't look too bad either ain't got no sissy look to it just a fence we don't want a fence with a sissy look to it little frilly twirly bobs and such like that that's just the rooster keeper outer and she's under the truck somewhere Oh, I've been dragging logs into that fire. I've gotten rid of a lot of them already. I even got all them limbs on that side drug over into the fire. It's getting there, man. It's getting there, but my heavy rake broke. That's all I got now. I gotta go fix my rake. That's some hot coals. Yes, I put some of that in my garden already. And they're cutting that tree that fell on that trailer across the street. And it didn't make too big of a whole uh, burnt spot. You know, I don't care. It'll grow back. I'm going to keep dragging this stuff in there while that's hot like that. I don't want none of this. <laughs> Russell just drove by he says how's it feel to be alive I said man it feels good he knew that you know they had to cut them trees when they did I probably would not be alive now tomorrow I gotta focus on this cedar let's go over there that's gonna be a little tricky now the difference between a cedar and a pine Pines are extremely heavy. When they fall, there ain't no limbs gonna keep them from hitting the ground. But as you can see with this cedar tree, that ain't the case. That thing is four or five feet off the ground. Well, more than that. So I have to figure out which end I wanna start, probably here. Start cutting these little limbs. See how it's just spidered on there? It's like a big old spider. And I'm going to just start cutting these limbs. A little at a time. Boy, this is going to be a lot of limbs and a big mess. But, uh, and I don't think this tree is any good for lumber. Because it had a disease. And that probably goes, it may not go all the way up. But, uh, it probably does. And I'm going to guess that these, are, these other ones are probably got the same issue. That one's got mangled in the storm. So I've got to get this at least laying flat on the ground. It's driving me nuts. So I just, I, the way I, what I'm thinking is I'll just start cutting these limbs and uh, it'll start lowering it down a little bit at a time. I just have to be careful. I'll start with these top ones, get them out of the way and then start cutting these ones that are supporting the tree. Uh, just like a bunch of little spider legs. 
ain't gonna be no fun and this thing fell right over my manure manure pile so i wasn't able to get any manure for nothing there's miss libby in her temporary shade shelter we've got to set her up with a new area but i ain't got time right now she's happy she can always walk in there i've got her door pulled open there's always shade in there uh i got to do some work on this. This fell. Probably had a limb come down. But she's got it nice and cozy in here. I even store some wood up in there. And uh, I built that doghouse extremely insulated. You can see where she chews on it. She gets people pull up. and But uh, that's good in the summer and winter. She likes it. It ain't nothing pretty, but... You know, didn't have to put a roof on it because it's got a uh, roof over this. And this thing's pretty solid. But I don't think it would have stopped that tree. <laughs> so she's lucky. So, all right, guys. Well, this, uh, I'm going to have several videos this week, so I'm not making them too terribly long. Let's go back here one more time. Now we got to deal with that tree, but... <laughs> That one, I have no clue what I'm, how I'm going to tackle that. That's going to have to be pulled off that other cedar. Maybe when they come back out here with the cable truck or something. I don't know where to start there. Oh, uh, man. Put them snakes above in there. Yeah. That's probably three foot deep. I only got, but I ain't worried about these right this moment. I mean, they're not going anywhere. That one I can do myself. That one's easy. That one's not too big around. But I am going to thin it out in here because, you know, you get too many, they struggle. Look at this old oak tree. Didn't even phase it. Yeah, it's a big one. Not as big as them ones that came down down the road. But, uh,. Well, that, I don't know where that one came from. That's a limb off something. I don't know. And I wanted to get in here. I've got a bushwhacker now with a blade on it. And I want to get in here and get this privet down. I could probably still get in there and do that. But, uh, you know, trying to deal with all this and then keep up with the yard work. Because I don't want this getting overgrown in here. And so it's, I'm going to be constantly busy for weeks now. But it's good for me. I had some pretty good energy today. I ain't done yet. I'm going to plant them other, uh, well, they ain't flowers, whatever they are, in front of the house on where Rooster was getting in. All right, guys. I'm going to end this video here. Happy trails. Now we're rooster proofed. All the way here, I planted those last three. I uh, like that they are on the other side. You can't get in there. She might be able to figure that out. I got to find a piece to put there. Got them rooster proof. And they get a little sun. They get, they'll get more sun here in the next few hours. Rooster. What do you think of that rooster proofing?